New drug could be kicking rectal cancer's butt. Cancer disappeared. The landmark event in medical history. Cancer disappeared. Cancer vanished. The thing is, even if you've been living under a rock, you would have heard about this. A miracle drug that cured 100% of colorectal cancer patients in a trial. A cancer drug just cured cancer for everyone who has taken it. So the drug is called Dorstar Liam. Dorstar Liam. This unfortunately has nothing to do with Oasis or Liam Gallagher. This is Dostalimab, a phase two study of patients with early stage rectal cancer and it's yielded never before seen results. Complete remission in 100% of patients treated with Dostalimab. In a very small initial trial, all 12 patients who had mismatched repair deficient rectal cancer completed the six month course of Dostalimab and had a complete clinical remission of their rectal cancer. No need for surgery or chemotherapy or anything else. Now, before we get into it, it must be said, that's pretty f amazing. Hang on, mismatch repair deficient rectal cancer. What the hell is that? You see, colorectal cancers can take many forms and a small subset of colorectal cancer is rectal cancers. And an even smaller subset, around five to 10% of them can be characterized as mismatch repair deficient. They lack a gene that enables them to repair their DNA. And because of that, they have many mutations, some of them which can lead to cancer. Or star Liam. Dostalimab is a PD-1 blocker. Our immune system protects us from disease, killing bacteria, viruses, and even cancer cells. One main type of immune cell that does that is called a T cell. T cells have proteins on them that turn on an immune response and other proteins that turn it off. These are called checkpoint proteins. Now, some checkpoint proteins help T cells to become active, for example, when an infection is present. But if the T cells are active for too long or react to things they shouldn't, they can start to destroy healthy cells and tissues. So other checkpoints help tell the T cells when to switch off. Now, some cancer cells make high levels of proteins and these can switch off T cells when they should really be attacking the cancer cells. So the cancer cells are basically pushing a stop button on the immune system and the T cells can no longer recognize and kill cancer cells. Dostalimab can block checkpoint proteins and they're called checkpoint inhibitors. They stop the proteins on the cancer cells from pushing the stop button. This turns the immune system back on and the T cells are able to find and attack the cancer cells. To prove just how bloody incredible they've been, take a look at this top row here. This is a rectal cancer, not very nice, I know, and it's blocking the entire field of view here and probably causing a blockage of the bowel. Now, three months after treatment, it looks like a complete response and even more so in six. You can't see it anymore. Again, in this patient, a bulky rectal cancer that's almost vanished at three months and definitely at six months. And the same thing is seen in these rectal MRIs, these big tumors that are just shrinking and melting away. And you can see this across every patient in the trial. Now, after that bombshell, if you've enjoyed watching this video so far, including gruesome pictures of rectal cancer, thank me later, consider liking the video and subscribing for more family unfriendly content like this. Anyway, back to the main thing. What's more is that there weren't really any major side effects. The most common side effects included things like a rash or dermatitis, which happened in roughly a third of patients, itching and fatigue that happened in 25% of patients, and nausea, which happened in 19% of patients. Yes, this is incredible, but we need to realize the study is small and represents the experience of a single institution. We need to replicate these findings in a way bigger patient population, and we need to get patients from a diverse set of racial and ethnic backgrounds. Also, this isn't a cancer cure for all bowel cancers. It's a specific subset. So you're probably thinking, if we can come up with something like this, why can't we cure all cancers? The fact is we won't ever come up with one single cure. Cancer is not one disease. Instead, it's an umbrella term for more than 200 distinct diseases. And each broad cancer type has many subtypes and they all look and behave completely differently because they are different on a genetic and molecular level. This is because cancer arises from our own cells. So each cancer can be as different and as diverse as people are. So a drug that works for one cancer patient might have absolutely no effect on another. Cancer is scary and the harsh reality is that everyone watching this video in some way has a connection to it. They either know a friend or a family member who has suffered from it or have even gone through it themselves. When it comes to bowel cancer, people often don't feel comfortable talking about their symptoms. There's a certain stigma attached to it. They might be having rectal bleeding. 
constipation, diarrhea, weight loss, all sorts of things often related to poo, which are stigmatized and it really shouldn't be. Dame Deborah James, aka Bowel Babe, who sadly passed away from bowel cancer, was a legend in raising awareness about checking your poo, checking your gut health and your symptoms, and generally destigmatizing talking about cancer and bowel health. So go forth and check your poo every day. If you notice any bleeding in the stool, change in your bowel habit, unexplained abdominal pain lasting for many days, unexplained weight loss or changes to your appetite. Basically, if you're in doubt, get it checked out. And on that note, I need to drop the kids off at the pool.